morning, Cambria Heights. Today is finally Friday, and the end of the first full week we have had in a long time. Today is April 12th, and we will follow Schedule A. This is Abby Smithmeyer and Tegan McRae with a few words of wisdom about your education and open-mindedness. Somebody wise once said, minds are like parachutes. They only work when they are open. For a part of getting an education is learning to keep your mind open to new ideas, new information, and new possibilities. This doesn't mean you won't eventually come to your own conclusion and beliefs. It simply means that you stay open to the ideas by gathering knowledge and information. Today, like a parachute, keep your mind open. With something to think about, this is Evie Smithmeyer and Tegan McCray. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. Today for lunch, we'll be having pulled pork on flatbread. On Monday, we'll be having sweet and sour chicken with rice. Today's clubs include 8th grade Boys and Murals, 8th grade Crochet Club, FCA, 6th grade Art Club, and 6th grade Pictionary Club. We definitely have our share of rain in our area lately. Have you ever heard of the saying, April showers bring May flowers? Well, it is true. The it is the time when the last of our snow is melting and with the warmer temperatures, we get a lot more rain and they do bring about May flowers. Speaking of little phases, you probably use one in order to figure out how many days there are in April. I'm pretty sure you've heard of this. 30 days has September, April, June, and November. All the rest have 31 except February, which has 28. And did you know that April in the Northern Hemisphere is where we live is equivalent to October in the Southern Hemisphere. So think about what type of weather they're having south of the equator right now. Very different than what we are experiencing. And you, if you are interested in seeing cherry blossoms in Washington, D.C., you better get down there this weekend because this marks the last weekend of the Cherry Blossom Festival at our country's capital. Now, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance.